Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're going to be having a look at this Android smartphone wired camera. So I like working on my cars and on the house doing DIY and stuff like that. And occasionally I drop things into confined spaces or I need to see into a confined space. So perhaps when I'm working on my car, I might lose a bolt or a nut. Uh, I've no idea where it's gone and it's stupidly frustrating. So a little while ago, I bought a camera, but I need to plug that into my laptop. Uh, so when I saw this come up on Amazon, I jumped at the chance to have a look at it and do a quick review. Ultimately, what this is, it is a waterproof endoscope or boroscope, if you like, with the ability to plug it into your Android smartphone. So this supports Android phones that has on the go, which basically means that you can plug a USB device into the phone and it will be powered, and PCs that have the UVC function. We can install a camera app called Camera Fee from the Google Store, and it works on phones such as the Samsung Galaxy S4, S5, S6, S7, the Note 2, Note 3, Note 4, the Note 5, the HTC M9, M9+, Plus, M8, LG, G4, and a few others. If you're going to use it on a computer, then it needs Windows XP, or a lower version without having to install any software. However, if you use Vista or Windows 7, 8 or 10, then you can simply install software from the manual. Okay, so looking in the box, and the first thing out we can see are two adapters. At the first it is a small mirror adapter, the second one you use to connect the two small pieces of metal. One's a hook and one is a magnet. Next out, we can have a look at the camera itself, and there we can see the six white LEDs, which form a ring around the lens. Next, we've got the five meter long USB cable, which terminates in a standard size USB connector with a small button on, and that's used to turn the light on and off. And lastly, the last thing out of the box is a very basic instruction manual. Now this product is Chinese, and that is reflected in the quality of the writing on the manual. You can see it's made by a company called New Rice. It's a two-in-one USB inspection camera and it's available in three colours. So we've got red, black and yellow. On the reverse, we've got some instructions on how to connect it to your Android phone, how to connect it to the computer and how we use the LEDs and the adapters. If you're feeling particularly lazy, then there are a couple of QR codes on the instructions that you can scan with your phone or your computer and it will take you direct to the software. And lastly, this is marketed as a waterproof inspection camera and it is rated to IPX67, which basically means it's dust proof and it can be immersed in water. That being said, the X in the rating generally means that it has not been certified. Next, we're going to have a look at these accessories. So we'll just pick up the camera here. And the first accessory I'm going to have a look at is the adapter, which slides over the top of the camera and enables these metal contraptions to be held in place. The first one I'm using here is the magnet and all we do is slide the metal through. There's a small groove on the adapter that uh, the metal needs to pop into. And now that is fairly loose when you first do it. What you need to do is just move the little crimp at the end underneath the adapter and then slide it back towards the tip of the camera and it will hold that in place. And the first one we're using here is the magnet. If I just move that over towards the other piece of metal, then you can see I can pick it up with the magnet. It's not particularly strong, but it probably would be strong enough to pick up a coin or a key. The other piece of metal is a hook, and you can attach this to the camera in exactly the same way, using exactly the same plastic sheath that goes over the camera, and then that will enable you to hook things like keys or perhaps a bolt or a nut that you've lost in a car or something similar. And the last accessory is a small camera and this one screws onto the camera just like that. And then that will enable you to look down the camera at an angle, maybe a 45 degree angle or back towards yourself. So you could put that down into an engine block of a car and be able to have a look at the quality of the valves, for example. Now, despite the camera lead being five meters long, uh, a full size USB connector being on it, it does actually only weigh 125 grams all up, which includes the box, the very basic manual and the accessories. Now, one of the things I really like about this camera is the fact that the button to turn the LEDs on is right down on the full size USB connector. I've had one previously where it had a roller shutter button on the lead itself, and that was fairly close to the camera. So when you're working on an engine bay of a car or something, sometimes that can get in the way. Whereas on this one, the button's nice and close to your phone and everything is kept in one place. 
And secondly, this is marketed as a two-in-one camera, which basically means you can plug it into your PC or you can plug it into your Android smartphone. And the way that you do this is just by moving the full-size connector down and that reveals a micro USB connector. And once that connector is down, then we can plug it into an Android phone in the usual way. When you do that and you have the camera fee software installed, the phone will recognize that you've plugged the camera in and it will ask you whether or not you want to start that application. Now you can auto start it and uh, what I'm doing now is just waiting for the software to load. Apologies for the state of my screen. So there's the camera fee software loaded. You can download that from the Play Store. Uh, one of the first things that normally comes up is an advert, so we'll just get rid of that. And there we can see the quality of the image. Now I have one for my laptop and the quality of the footage is nowhere near this. Apologies for the stuttering on the image as well. That isn't the software or the camera. That's actually my phone. I think it's got far too much on it. But that gives you a good example of what the image quality is actually like. And that's currently set, I think, at 640 by 480. So you can see there, uh, you can zoom in quite quite closely it is a microscope camera as well so once you get things up nice and close then uh, you can certainly see the detail in things um, I understand that you can turn the software up as well so we can enhance that image from 640 by 480 all the way up to I think 1600 by something quick press of the button and we can see that the LEDs come on and they are six bright white LEDs. Now, the only thing that I don't like about that is that you can't dim the LEDs. And the one on my laptop, you can. And sometimes in really dark places, those LEDs certainly can get in the way. Really happy with this camera. I think the quality of the image is really good. The fact that I can plug it into my Android phone and use it whilst working on the car is absolutely fantastic. I could, To be fair, I could just chuck it in uh, in a go bag in the car and leave it there. And when I need it, I'm probably going to have my phone on me, so I'm never really going to have to worry about losing something in a uh, confined space again. You never know, I can stick it under the seat of my car and recover a wealth in change. And lastly, I have two clips for you. The one in the top left-hand corner you would have seen before, and the one in the bottom right-hand corner is in a low light situation with the leds illuminated well overall guys i'm seriously impressed with this camera it gets a thumbs up from me retails at 35.99 on amazon however at the moment you can get it on sale at 13.99 and links to the product on amazon can be found in the description below well that's it for now guys as always thanks for watching if i've helped you make a purchase decision then please like the video alternatively if you're watching the video on youtube then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.